So let's move on. Punta naman tayo sa presentation layer. Now, ano nga ba ang presentation layer? Siyempre, yung mga applications mo produces files. Okay? Or uses files or wants to transfer files from one computer to another. And dito papasok yung presentation layer natin. So let's take for example, uh, para dun sa mga may background ng web design, so um, or nagpa-program ng HTML. So HTML sa file na ginagamit natin uh, at ini-store natin sa isang web browser, ay web, web server pala, and ina-access ng mga users natin for them to be able to browse our website. So, um, <clears throat> yan ang HTML file. So, ginagamit yan ng mga browsers. Email naman, yung mga email uh, data natin is being read by Outlook. Okay? So, medyo, for those who, uh, para sa iba sa inyo, nakikita niyo yung pattern eh. MP4, ginagamit natin to to watch videos. Okay? And similarly, pag gumawa tayo ng assignment natin at, pina, uh, at kailangan natin siya i-print, kailangan natin ilagay sa isang Word document. Okay? Or kung gumagawa tayo ng thesis, for example, nilalagay natin yan sa Word document. So, presentation layer, ang ibig sabihin lang naman nito is how it presents data. Okay? Um, how it presents data. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Kung nag ka ng application na um, video player, for example. So, <coughs> so, for example, ito yung player ko na VLC. Okay? And I want to watch a video. Um, ano tayo na ang video dito? So, kukuha tayo sa ating <coughs> uh, movie list. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, yung movie na Aladdin. So nahigets niyo yung nahigets niyo yung yung gusto kong ibig sabihin. Applications need to read files, and yung files na yon, okay, reside at the presentation layer. How do you present data? Okay, kasi um, if I would give you an example, as certain applications need to read certain data. Okay? Hindi pwedeng isang application can read almost all data. So, anong, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, let's, let me give you an example here. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, let's say, <clears throat> itong PDF file. So, this is um, MacWarrior Mercenaries. Okay, yung, yung, it's a PDF document. Okay. Now, the app, yung app, so, kung gusto kong buksan, yung file na yun, <clears throat> yung, yung document na to, okay, I have to use, as, uh, uh, itong document na to is PDF. And if I open this one, it will launch an application called Adobe Reader. Okay. So, itong PDF file na to, if I open this one using another application, for example, um, maganda. Wordpad. Will, be, will I be able to open the file? Tingnan natin. <laughs> Mukhang naghang. <laughs> okay. Okay, naghang. Okay, may kita ninyo walang lumalabas sa sa um, Wordpad ko. Bakit? Bakit ganun? Kasi certain files need to be read by certain applications. And dito pumapasok ang presentation layer natin. So, I have to close na natin. Okay? So, ano yung mga files na pwedeng basahin ng browsers natin? They are called HTML. Um, <clears throat> email naman, ang application na kailangan natin gamitin is Outlook. Uh, katulad ng ginawa ko kanina, itong mp4 must be read by a media player. And yung Word document ninyo must be opened with Microsoft Word. So, this is where, uh, ito ang gamit ng presentation layer natin. Okay? Yung mga files na ginagamit ng ating application. 
Na sa presentation layer din nangyayari yung something called encryption. Okay? Kung yung iba sa inyo is na ransomware attack na. Okay? Ano bang ginagawa ng ransomware? Ang ginagawa ng ransomware is ine-encrypt nyo lahat ng files ninyo para hindi mabasa ng applications ninyo. And you have to pay the hackers okay, Bitcoin para ma-decrypt nyo yung files nyo at mabasa uli ng mga applications ninyo. So, encryption happens at the presentation layer. Um, <clears throat> bigyan ko kayo ng simple example nito. Ha. What encryption does is it converts one file into or it converts one data into another form of data. Um, ano bang magandang example nito? Let's just say itong PDF. Kung gawin ko sa zip file, for example, I'm actually <clears throat> transforming the data from one form to another. Okay? So, similarly, ganun ang ginagawa ng encryption. Ang ginagawa ng encryption... Actually, it's much more complicated and we will explain encryption pagdating natin sa future studies natin sa mga next consecutive modules. Pag medyo nakalayo-layo na tayo sa CCNA natin. But suffice to say, encryption, yun lang naman ang ginagawa niya. Nire-rename niya or ine-encrypt niya yung file ninyo para hindi siya mabasa. Oh, parang ganyan. Okay, but... Um, it's not truly it's not really encryption yung ginawa ko but it's a closer form <laughs> it's much more similar okay ganun ang ginagawa na <clears throat> and sa ransomware attack ganun ang ginagawa lahat ng documents ninyo sa computer ninyo lahat ng um, movies ninyo in-encrypt yan para hindi nyo na siya mabuksan and kailangan nyo magbayad sa hacker para ibigay niya yung susi para ma transform yun yung data nyo back to its original format. So, nangyayari yan sa presentation layer natin.